Hi guys, it's me, the math person. Today I'll be going over question 33 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So this question is asking, given that a fire loss exceeds 38, calculate the probability that x exceeds 16, given that the x is greater than 8. So by the conditional probability formula, we can break this down into probability that x is greater than 8 and x is greater than 16 divide by the probability that x is greater than 8. But the thing is, if x is greater than 16, of course it's already greater than 8, right? So then this is kind of redundant for us to say this twice. So this is essentially the probability that x is greater than 16 divided by the probability that x is greater than 8. Alright, and then we like, already give you the probability function right here. So I think we're all pretty, pretty darn dandy good to go. So the probability that x is greater than 16, so going from 16 to the top, no, it's capped at 20, right? So the maximum possible number is going to be 20. Of solving this thing out, 0.005, 20 minus x, dx. So solving this out, 0.005 is just a constant, so I'm just going to throw that sucker out. And when I integrate in respect to x, 20 just becomes 20x minus x which just becomes x squared one half integrating from 16 to 20 so this is equal to 0.005 20 times 20 400 minus 20 squared minus 200 minus the lower limit here plugging in the lower limit 20 times 16 which is 320 minus the lower limit 16 squared divided by 2 128. So right here you get this is equal to 0.005 200 minus 320 minus 128 which is 192. So this is equal to 8 times 0.005 which is 0.04. Alright, how about the denominator going from 8 to 20 or 0.005 20 minus x dx. Well, the thing is, we basically did most of the work. Instead of six, plugging in 60, we just have to plug in 8. So this is equal to 0.005, 200, minus plugging in the lower limits here. So that's going to be 20 times 8 minus 1 half 8 squared. This is equal to 0.005, 200, minus 128. So this is equal to 0.36. So our final probability, numerator is equal to 0.04, denominator is equal to 0.36, this is equal to 0.11111 all the way, which is our answer, oh, I guess I have to turn it into fraction, which is equal to 1 ninth, our answer, B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!